Hey guys, it's Compa Quickie Time with Economics and Comics. If you enjoy this content, please hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and turn on all notifications. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. This week we have Superman number 199, who is the fastest man alive. I believe this is the first race between the Flash and Superman to see who is the fastest. Um, this book came out in August 1967. So basically what's there's a lot of interesting things about this book, but we'll start with the two crime syndicates are trying to figure out a way to fix the race um, where they can have one or the other lose because they're all trying to profit from it. Um, and it shows Superman. People are timing Superman and the Flash. Like Superman stops some cars. And they time it. And the Flash beats up some dudes and stops some crime. And they time it. So they get called in to the UN. And the UN said, look, we, if, if we could do a race between you guys, we could organize. You know, we could charge. And uh with the funds, we could help un underdeveloped countries and like save the world type of stuff, <laughs> you know. And so they agree to do the race. Take a little bit of time out and they're going to circle the earth a couple times or whatever. They've decided to give them a path to follow. Okay, but Superman cannot fly. That's like one of the rules. So the syndicates come in and they hire different people to <laughs> smart people to figure out a way to stop Superman and the Flash and control the race. Anyway, it's race day and the Justice League is there and they're all rooting and they go, right? Um, what's interesting is that Superman can't run on water, I guess, so he has to swim, which is interesting, and the Flash can run over the water. Now, they encounter a bunch of different things throughout the race that slow them down, slow each other down, for, um... Flash might come to an obstacle where he can phase through it, you know, or Superman will have to jump over it or run fast, but they can't, they don't cheat. Um, there's times where they run into things and they fix it really fast together, but they're always kind of helping each other throughout the whole thing. What's kind of funny is though, people are like watching them race where it's literally impossible to see them. <laughs> like they try to get a picture of him or whatever, but it, it's like impossible to see these guys running and whatever. What I thought was also funny is they go through a forest with loggers and they, instead of just running through, they take time to like cut down trees, <laughs> which is funny back then to help the loggers meet their quota. Like, you know, for saving the world purposes back then, that didn't matter, you know, so they cut down a bunch of trees. So, uh, you know, they're racing and, and, and they're just talking about like all the different areas all over the country. Um, different things happen where Superman will stop to help the Flash because the Flash got injured or something or ver vice versa. You know, a vo kryptonite came out of a volcano. So the Flash made a little hole so the kryptonite would go in and not affect Superman. And they're constantly helping each other throughout the whole thing. Um, which is interesting, of course, but they're superheroes. They're good guys. So eventually they get to the part where the mobsters are there to mess everything up. So they, the mobsters put up this fake plexiglass thing for the Flash to run through. It's like bulletproof glass. And the other mobster family puts kryptonite dust, right? So they run through it. Flash goes through the wall. And later on, uh, Superman gets kryptonited. So they get caught by the bad guys and... Uh, hidden away and they put in uh, fake people dressed in suits to make sure that they'll lose so they both mob families do the same thing they put fake people in to finish the race and to lose it so they can win a bunch of money and uh, eventually they get loose and they race again but they knew that it was a plot so that the mobsters families could make a lot of money so basically, they decided to finish at the same time so that no family would win the money and all their money would be lost of the mob families. But then it says here, and this is why I say this is the first race, 
because there's debate that there's another tied for first. Um, but it says here, there's still one thing that hasn't been cleared up. What's that? Which of you is faster? Right? So it says the rematch is coming soon to flash. So to me, that indicates this is the first race between the two. But it was an interesting story of them helping each other out. And that is Superman 199. I hope you enjoyed your comic book quickie.